Hey, you know, I'm not a big fan of how you try to beat everyone you meet with a stick. Maybe you should, uh, practice some social skills. Hanging out with ghosts all the time might not be the best idea for you. Just saying. Just, just saying. Putting that out there. Probably not a good idea. Anyway, hey gang, what's happening? I'm the Digital Nugget, and last time, we took on some trainers in the Pokemon Tower and found ourselves a ghastly amongst the fog. A lot of strange and spooky stuff is happening, but this time we're gonna try and see if we can head upstairs and see what we will find. Probably more tower, probably more trainers, and probably just a bunch of stuff that's gonna cause me to make more episodes than I need to in this area. But whatever it is, it's probably something important. So let's move ahead! Ghost? No! Wah! You're right! I am not a ghost. I am a boy. Would you like the battle? Actually, no, she would like the battle, is what it says. Paula, the ghostly girl, sent out her ghastly ghost. And I shall use the power of confusion to confuse the heck out of everyone in this conversation. Because I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, and I'm dead. Never mind. Probably should have healed. Probably should have had some potions. Darn it, I'm dead. Now what do we do? That was my only, that was my only, um, my only good move. My only good thing. What do I do now? Uh, dark moves probably work on ghosts. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Probably not. I'm gonna see what happens, though. Go, Reba! Our dark moves have been increased by the power of our swagger shades. Maybe Bite will actually wa Wow! It actually works! It's super effective! Dark is good against ghost types, which means Melanie could have actually been boosted thanks to the power of Bite. Well, maybe we'll bring her back here later to do some grinding. In the meantime, though, we are now level 32, and we can move forward with all the things that we do. Player has defeated Chandler Paula... Ch Chandler? Chandler Paula. Where is the ghost? Uh, I think you scared it away. Don't you dare touch me! Stand back! No! No! Anyway, we're gonna head upstairs and find out what's going on over here because... There's some items, there's some trainers. Well, we're gonna place some sneak- oh. Yes, we need one. We need one. What are we gonna do to this cube bone so we can capture it? I think our best option is to try and paralyze it. Unless it's a ground Pokemon, then there could be a problem. Because if it's a ground Pokemon, which I think it might be... Yeah, it's a ground Pokemon. Po uh, uh, po paralyzation is not gonna matter. So we need to send out someone who can do just a tiny bit of damage and... Uh, and, you know, still be alive by the end of this encounter. Cubone used Tail Whip. Well, at least it didn't try to insta-kill me. A Cubone has now lowered my defenses, and I'm going to use the power of Karate Chop? Karate Chop. Hey, it was a critical hit, and it worked. Good job, me. Maybe avoid doing more critical hits. Fury Swipes. Just lower it a little bit into the yellow. There we go. Look at that. Three times. I think we're ready to capture this. Uh, this here. Uh, Cubone. Oh, wait. We can't capture the Cubone. There's no room in my inventory. <sighs> Karate chop. An epic kung fu display by Monk Lee, but I couldn't capture the Cubone. Now I'm sad. Mm. I really wanted that. Darn it! Alright, we're gonna have to head back downstairs right now. We don't have room for these Pokemon, so let's make some. 
Also, fog is keeping me from running. Can you quit rubbing it in my face? I get it. There's a bunch of wild Pokemon over here, but I don't have the time to deal with it. So please, let me go. Thank you. Ooh, we're back, we're back, we're back. Okay, welcome back to the Pokemon Tower. I went to go grab some supplies, and we're now ready to fight this Cubone. Okay, so Pokemon-wise, I only have these three in here. I probably should have left someone to do damage for this, but now that I think about it, it's not a ghost Pokemon, so it shouldn't be weak to bite, right? I wouldn't think so. I'm determined to at least capture this Cubone before the end of the episode. So, I hope this doesn't kill it. It doesn't kill it at all, actually. Bone Club, that is a painful move. Uh, we need to hurt it. Payday. It's gotten in the yellow now, at least. And we have Super Potions. If we get too much damage taken, we can always heal. So a little closer than uh, we were. Let's hope this doesn't crit. Please don't crit. That would be good. Thank you. Now it's in the good yellow. That's a good yellow. Hmm. Sounds like my mom's home. Well, I guess that means there's a perfect opportunity to finish up this episode as soon as I capture this uh, this this uh, Cubone. Come on, don't waste too many Pokeballs. One, two, three, captured. And there we go. Cubone has been caught. So now that Cubone has been caught, he has been added to our Pokedex's data. It wears the skull of its dead mother on its head. When it becomes lonesome, it is said to cry loudly. Ow. That hurt. Yeah, we're going to nickname it. Uh... Luke. Which is short for something. If you know what I'm talking about, then... Yeah, that sucks immensely. Anyway, I am going to end this episode off. That was pretty sad. Um... Oof. Can I get an F in the chat for the Q-Bone? Really sad. If you liked this episode, please share your mouse like button, share your support, and ring the little bell to be notified when I post the next one. And as always, subscribe today to join the gang, and I will see you nuggets in the next one. Stay crispy, and keep it digital.